And welcome to another episode of Dear Olympics. No, Capamira YouTube channel. And if you guys are return followers, you probably are realizing right about now that I am trying out a new camera mount. Yep. So, why am I trying out a new camera mount? Well, in the video right before this, um, I go on and on and on, ooh, about shifting into false neutrals. No, I go on and on about, uh, camera mounts and how, uh, my girlfriend's car was, like, real hot and shit, and not in, like, the good way, like, the bad way, like, it was, like, 98 degrees in that bitch. That wasn't 98 degrees, that was uh, at NSYNC or Backstreet Boys or some shit. Holy fucking potholes. Uh, that other camera mount that I tried out, didn't like it because there was a lot of vibration. I'm not quite sure why there was a lot of vibration, but uh, I think it was just because it was a cheap uh, Amazonian mount. Yeah, it just like was really cheap plastic and it was like flexing every time that I hit a bump. Oh, a crane. Um, I love that truck. That GMC Sierra Denali is the nicest truck that they uh, they make. Oh look, an Audi A4. <laughs> Quick little side note, side rope action. Uh, am I gonna make this turn? Yes, I am, because I'm coming in hot. We'll talk about tire pressure. I had to get car uh, floor mats for the car that I just got. Oh, look, Groundhog. Anyways, so I went online and I was going to get the weather tech, but then I realized, wait a second, I don't, spend, I don't feel like spending $180 on weather tech mats when, like, you know, it's not an off-road car. It has all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive lock, but I'm not going to be taking it, like, hunting and shit like I would my truck. So I decided to go to this auto parts online store. Uh, if you spend $120 or more, you get free shipping and 20% off. So I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get that shit. So what I did was I spent, uh, th the mats came to like my luck. They come to like 118, 87 and 88. 1738 such bullshit so i was like ah oh, crap what can i get for uh a few dollars that will make my total go over 120 dollars i gotta get oh, oh yeah, playing tennis i'm at brookdale community college if you couldn't tell why am i here um because they have fancy little signs that say welcome to brookdale no i'm here because it's right near my house and uh, it's a nice little place to ride. Actually, um, they have the motorcycle safety course taken here. So what I'm about to do, which is right off the whim, is I'm gonna go and do the mo mo motorcycle safety course real fast. But while we're on our way there, I'm gonna talk about what the hell I've been stalling to talk about this entire time, which is tire pressure. Can you guys guess what I bought with the $3 that I needed to, to spend in order to get the 20% off? Wait, I'll tell you. It was a mm, 2016 or 15 or 14, depending on what year it shipped from China. Um, bullshit brand, silver bullet looking shit fucking thing called a tire pressure gauge. It works pretty well, but before I knew it worked pretty well, I was like, Oh, let me go and check it out on my Honda Grom, which is what I'm riding right now, and see if it works before I put it in my car and I check the tire and pressure on my car one day because it's acting funny, and then uh, it doesn't uh, ride so well. Or it doesn't read right. I went to my bike and I'm like, oh, shit, this thing's got to be fucking broken. It's reading 12 PSI in my tires, and my tires don't feel that soft. So I was like, ah, crap. I go to my dad's scooter, I plug it into my dad's scooter, and I was like, oh shit, it's reading like 18 PSI. 
I'm like, that's weird. His tires feel softer than mine. Something must be up. Oh no. They closed off the motorcycle course. Dang it. I can't do the motorcycle safety course today. I'll come back another day. But it was right over there and they have like the, the S lines and shit uh, in the road so that you could practice. I'm like, fuck, let me hook up this compressor and see if this shitty little $3 tire gauge uh, is broken or my bike is running real low on air. I put the compressor on it and it doesn't even read because it starts reading at 20 and I was like, oh shit, I'm an idiot. I never check the tires. And what's the first question I ask you on the DMV test? Um, excuse me, if uh, you are riding a motorcycle and you're not a complete dickhead, uh, what is the first thing that you should do every single time that you get on your motherfucking bike? Oh, it's uh, that you should fucking check your tire pressure because it's one of the most important things because it's the only thing between the ground and your testicles. Let's see if I could try to not get run over. Oh. I'm taking this turn like a motherfucker. Whew, I just did a little burnout. <laughs> Sucker free Sunday, bitches! Yeah, so I had really, really, really low tire pressure in my tires. And I, I kind of liked the way that it was riding, so I was like, shit. Let me go online real quick and let me goo gizzle what uh, tire pressure should be in the Grom compared to the 15 PSI that I had currently in it. So, thank you Mr. Google because I went out and I found that the tire pressure that I had in my bike, being 15, was like way low. It was supposed to be at 29 PSI. Besides taking the bumps a little bit uh, more uh, jumpy and fidgety, it rides real nice. Our speed has gained about a mile hair or two mile hairs per hour. Mile hair per whore. Per hola. Mi No, I don't know. I, I know Spanish, but not enough to say mile per hour. In the uno mile per hour or dos mile per hour, gaino. Bumps, the bumps are like a little bit more pre prevalent than they were before but um, I think that it's going to be better uh, on the old top end I could tell already that turning I have lost a little bit of grip by putting like 14 pounds of air which is what they they, they said that the, the bike should be at 29 psi front and back which kind of sounds a little high but according to the manual that's what it says so and actually, in the Honda manual, it says 29 front and back if you're going to be riding like a normal idiot. Oh, look at that pink sky. It looks so nice, doesn't it? I'm going to keep my eyes fixated in front of me, but uh, doing like a real cinematic bullshit looking while I drive. Anyways, I could already tell that when I turn, I don't have as much grip that I usually did. So, I don't know, I might, I might dial it down the PSI because with it with really low, I was gripping the road real nice and shit. Like, it was real soft and real comfy. Anyways, I hope that this video comes out well enough for me to uh, post it on the YouTube. That thing is fucking stupid. Anyways, yeah, that kid just one day decided in the middle of the day because he's fun employed and fun employed for all you that don't know what that is. That means that you're unemployed and your parents are paying for all your shit, so you're having fun. But you're unemployed. You're not supposed to be having fun when you're unemployed. Or I guess you are if you're a college student, because I had a shit ton of fun at college. Chill. Anyways, hope you guys have a great night. See you later.